Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm KJ. Uh, today's video is going to be a review of one of the David's Tees new ball tees. So we're going to be talking about pumpkin creme brulee. Um, and it's an herbal tea and I'll read you the ingredients. So there's apple, cocoa beans, pumpkin pulp, rose hips, white chocolate, uh, carrot, cocoa husk, natural flavoring with stevia extract, corn flour, and pink corn flour. Contains milk. So, guys, I, I don't really know what this tea smells like to me. There smells like, it smells like there's a lot going on. So, like, creme brulee smells like, I don't know, toasted whipped egg yolks and sugar. You kind of get a toasted vibe from this. Like there's maybe some burnt sugar. The pumpkin comes through it like this weird savory bit. Kind of like how Monster Mash, I don't know if you guys have ever smelled that. That one smells really, the pumpkin comes through like that too. Um, it smells very sweet. The chocolate's in there, but I, I can't like isolate it alone. Um, but like upon first smell, I don't, I don't have high hopes. Um, but I hope to be proven wrong because who wouldn't want to love a tea called pumpkin creme brulee? So we are tasting it. <clears throat> Jeez. <laughs> in this Polish pottery mug gifted to me by my friend, Han, full name Hannah. Um, and it's so cute. So the lid comes off. I've been steeping this tea uh, at least 10 minutes. Um, and then the infuser, so it's all ceramic. The infuser has holes only in the bottom, which I kind of like. Um, there doesn't seem to be much. Uh, what's the word for it? Escaped tea. Um, I can see a corn flour or two that must have slipped through the holes, but otherwise no big deal. And then upon looking at the tea, like I can't really show you guys, but there is kind of like an oily residue towards the top. And I'm sure that's from the, the chocolate in there. Yeah, I'm sure that's from the chocolate. <laughs> so, does the tea smell any better when it's steeped? I feel like I can smell more of the chocolate um, in this cup than I can in the bag. You definitely smell the cocoa and the cocoa husk. Pumpkin's still there. The sweetness is still there. So yeah, we're three minutes in and I haven't even tasted it. I guess you can call this more of a, what is it called when you're like first to do something? First impression. <laughs> okay, so let's taste it. So the first thing that I get is apple. And it's not necessarily the taste of apple, it's more of like the, the tart punch or like kick of an apple. The carrot and the pumpkin are there together just doing their orange thing. And in the background there's a cocoa, but it's, it's pretty prevalent. As is, I don't know how much I like it, but I'm afraid to add sugar because I just feel like the sweetness wouldn't enhance anything mm, that I wanted. So when I mentioned that I get the apple first, the apple keeps it from being like an all the way dessert tea. Um, so when they say fruit infusion, they really mean that. It tastes like the fruity version of pumpkin creme brulee, which is again, an herbal tea, and maybe that's what they were going for. Um, but I would much rather like it if this tea was just marketed as full-on dessert tea, um, and maybe if the tartness of the apple didn't stick out so much. Then I don't know how much the rose hips are helping. <laughs> okay, so there's probably half of this um, cup left, and maybe four ounces, so I'm gonna try to add a little bit of milk. 
So I frothed up some vanilla almond milk in this Cuisinart milk frother. And just as an aside, I do not like this product much. Um, so it's cool because it's super compact. However, it it's very small servings. Um, you have to put this on directly on the top, otherwise it literally can just fall in. It's easy to clean because you can just kind of rinse it out and the, the frother piece picks up out of there. But the power outlet is here, so if you're rinsing the whole unit, you're just always kind of worried that you're going to um, saturate this power outlet. So I've had a Breville milk frother that I liked much more. I also have a, a Capresso, I think that's what it's called, milk frother at work. And I like that one much more. This one looks sleek and it's like, ooh, yeah, but it's actually not, I'm not that impressed with it. And it was 50 bucks, so what a waste. Okay, because I'm judging from the background. <laughs> um, okay, so I added maybe just as much milk as there was tea left. Nope. So the milk helps it to sort of be creamy and it kind of cuts down the tartness of the apple, which is the first ingredient. And it kind of brings you more to dessert to again, pumpkin creme brulee. However, I don't know. It's not my favorite. So it's not bad. I think if you like most of these ingredients and you can see the combination of them being something you like obviously give it a try um i'm gonna finish that bag but it's probably gonna be a struggle and i'm gonna try to finish it before the end of october because that's when i plan to do like a pretty big um sit down video um and i i don't want this around any longer than i have to have it yeah hmm I don't know, I just can't put my, can't wrap my head around why that doesn't work as well. Maybe if it were a black tea, obviously, with pumpkin pieces and some caramelized bits of something, it would be good. But starting it with apple, again, the creme brulee is not tart. Um, it's actually super sweet, because again, it's, it's egg yolks and sugar. So I'm not really sure how they plan to get this across with these particular ingredients. Um, but again, if you like the combination of ingredients, you might like it. I do not. I won't have a problem finishing it, but I don't want it around much longer. So that's unfortunate because I haven't done a review of a tea in a while that I haven't liked, um, but I really wanted to do, obviously, a fall tea that kind of released um, this season from David's Tea, but I don't really like it. So. If you guys have any tips for how to better enjoy this tea, please leave those in the comments. Um, and if you have any suggestions for other David's Tea fall teas that came out this season that I should try instead, let me know because slightly disappointed. Okay, well, thanks, bye.